Today's topic is a request from a subscriber. She would like to know, do I need to know why I don't feel like I love myself? Do I need to know why I don't feel love? Stay tuned. So today's topic really caught my eye from a subscriber. Here on the Law of Attraction Detox, we detoxify from toxic techniques and instead we focus on our true nature of love within that literally manifests everything that we see in our lives. So how, how do you create love in your life if you're aware that you don't have love within you? Okay, so this is a, a strange hook that can happen. You know how you could be afraid of being afraid? I have some clients afraid that they're gonna create what they don't want because they feel afraid <laughs> or they're afraid that they're gonna create something they don't want because they feel anxious and they have all of this fear coming up around like just being human just having normal natural doubts having normal natural anxieties and so this is another one of those things i don't feel love within myself and so now i need to analyze why i don't feel love within myself and i'm, I'm going to just offer this advice here um if you don't feel love within yourself, don't analyze why you don't feel love within yourself. Just start pouring love within yourself. Spend the time instead of analyzing why, spend that time accessing, dumping love into yourself. What does that look like? It's really easy if you can imagine yourself as another person and you can imagine that your best friend is in front of you and what would you say to your best friend if they aren't feeling loved, they're feeling worthless, they're feeling a lack of, of something in their life, what would you say to them? Start talking to yourself that way. Start telling yourself those things. Things like, it's okay. I know life doesn't feel very good right now. I know you're having a really hard time. And I know that, um, you know, you keep experiencing these really bad things that you don't want to experience. And that doesn't mean anything about your worth. That doesn't mean anything about how much you are loved. You are love, lovable and loving. You are always loved. And you just do this little self-talk. What is that? Maybe 30 seconds of time? And you start to feel your body again. You start to breathe down into your body again. The problem is too many of you go and try to bypass this and go look up a technique of trying to how to get it now. I need to get it now. I need to try to get my SP. I need to get my specific person to love me. How do I get it? How do I get it? And I'm just telling you like right now, that is not how it works. You cannot gaslight yourself into creating things. You cannot tell yourself, no, you don't actually need to feel this way. You shouldn't feel this way. You should feel this way because if you don't feel this way, then you're not going to create what you want. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. And you just spiral out of control. I've been there before. It sucks. <laughs> I don't wish it on anybody. To literally have your thoughts spiraling and it, and it feels inside of me, and my, when my mind would spiral like that, it would feel like rats trying to scratch their way out of a box. Like that's what it felt like. I felt like I had little critters trying to like argh, find their way out. That is, is the opposite of what I want in this channel. And what a lot of these other channels are teaching, not all of them, some of them are great, but what some of these other channels are teaching about manifestation needs to stop because it is literally getting people to, to, you know, mental dis-ease to the point where, gosh, you know, what's the point of trying to get what you want if this is the cost of having mental dis-ease and mis mental discomfort? Because I'm going to tell you right here and now, someday each one of us will pass away. And do you want to be on your deathbed wondering if you could have maybe savored life a little bit more? I've actually meditated for a year on my own death. And while I was healthy and didn't have a death due date, I gave myself a death due date of a year from then. And every day I imagined my day was coming closer and closer. Remember it's coming. It's now it's only like three months away. And it, you know, a lot of the processing happened within the first three months where I was, I was really grieving and mourning and, and just imagining that I wouldn't be able to hold my children anymore. Imagining that I would not be able to experience this life anymore. And you know what that does? You, you know what that humble reminder that you are going to cease to exist in this human form one day that reminder reminds you to live you die so that you can live and you live so that you can die someday peacefully and this is all from within all shifting from within nothing outside of myself came to me and shoved within me an awareness that I was not going to exist someday I had to allow myself to meditate on that 
And so what's my point? My point is that you don't have infinite time to experience this life. You, you don't want to waste another second using techniques that are, are I'm going to use an imaginal act. I love Neville Goddard. Goddard, is, he's, he's amazing. He had an awakening and a spiritual awakening back in like the mid, you know, 1900s. And so he, he had this awakening and he's trying to teach people how to use their own beautiful minds to project this love out under the screen of reality. And it got muddled and people are just taking little bits and snippets away from what he was talking about and they're not even teaching the whole thing. The whole thing he is saying is already within you. All you need to do is realize that. And so people are taking these snippets and they're going, okay, I'm going to use an imaginal act. I'm going to use a state of kin to sleep. And I'm going to get in and I'm going to imagine my thing. And so you do it and you imagine your thing. Which, by the way, I'm a hypnotherapist, so I get it. Like, the subconscious mind is extremely susceptible to suggestions. Come to me if you would like to find out more about that. Come to me and I can help you get into the state of being where you already have what you want. But you don't need me. You can do it yourself as well. But the problem is you do this state of kin to sleep and you do an imaginal act. Then you wake up and you go, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? That wasn't the point. The point was so you could access it within you and find out that it's already there. So another problem I see that the state of kid is asleep and what is happening with these imaginal acts is that people are not actually embodying the truth of that. They are projecting, they're, they're like taking themselves and projecting themselves into a future reality that doesn't exist. Yes, all reality exists simultaneously at the same time. Past, present, future is experiencing the one present moment. We're only experiencing this one breath. I get it. Yeah. But what's actually happening is you're a human in a body experiencing this present moment. And the more that you pull yourself out of that, the less manifestational energy that you have. Because the manifestational power comes from you within your body listening to your own human GPS system. It's right here. This is what's guiding me. Uh, this doesn't feel right. This feels right. Uh, so you can continue to try to pull yourself out and, and imagine this and then, and then ask yourself, why is it working for everyone else? It's not working for me. Well, this person got their person in two months. This person got that and blah, blah, blah. And it's like, you have no clue what journey that person was on. You have no clue how much maybe self-love work that they had to do for six, seven, eight, nine, ten years. And then they finally, something clicked and they realized, oh, it's already done. I already have it. Oh, it's that easy. I don't need to go through a whole imaginal process. Actually, I don't want to go through an imaginal process. I want to be surprised by life. I want life to be like, boom, guess you didn't plan on this miracle happening, did you? I'm like, nope, that was amazing. That was incredible. What? That, that was how? I like getting little intuitive mm, breadcrumbs or little like sprinkle a little salt on my world's, you know, flavor. But I, I don't want to actually know how it happens because <laughs> that'd be too much information. I'm not the infinite all knowing. I'm an aspect of it, getting to experience this human thing. I don't want you all to have to do this anymore. I don't want any of you to suffer anymore the way I did trying to do the manifestational techniques and trying to do, oh my gosh, it was exhausting. More affirmations, more imaginations, more delusional thinking. No, it doesn't need to happen. None of that needs to happen. All that needs to happen is that you sit here, access yourself. Notice that you're not feeling loved. Do you need to know why you're not feeling loved? No, cry, let it out. Apologize to yourself. Forgive yourself. I'm sorry I've been avoiding you, ignoring you, beating you up, to being your enemy for so long. I'm here now. I'm going to start loving you and I'm here. I'm here. No one's ever, ever going to take me from myself. No one's ever, ever, ever going to take God's love from within me. That can never happen. But what can happen is I can forget that it's within me and try to forget and try to tell myself a different story. <laughs> I tell my clients sometimes, I'm like, now you know that. Now you know love is within you. If you found it, you found the peace and the love within you. You know that it's never going to leave. And now you know that and you can't unknow that. I'm sorry. You're welcome. Because, you know, you can't go back to sleep once you're awake. Once you're awake to knowing the truth within you. And that you don't need to do anything to find it or access it. You just need to sit and be. And allow those crazy thoughts to just keep going by one after another one after another 
until you find stillness and then you realize, oh, the stillness is who I actually am. The stillness has been here the whole time waiting for me to just sit. You already have it within you. You don't need to know why you haven't felt like you were loved. You don't need to know. You just need to practice. Practice coming into awareness. Practice being. Sit out and look at the tree. Sit and look at the birds. I have very, very simple techniques for you to do. Things that I've tried for the last seven years, not six, seven years, self-love journey uh, of miracles, of hardship, of everything in between. It's not some, life isn't supposed to be easy. Life isn't supposed to be, here is what you wanted on a silver platter, now you never have to worry again. It's supposed to be accessing the grace of your own divinity within over and over and over again to new and greater heights because you never experience the same thing twice. You're always coming from a new perspective, even if it looks the same. You always have a new greater perspective and you always have a choice in every given second. What choice am I going to make right now? Am I going to choose to listen to the tape or am I going to drop into my body? That's, that's the tape playing in my mind hasn't done me very well up until this point. So I'm going to just drop into my body. Okay. Send you so much love. Contact me below. Free 15 minute consultations are on for my birthday. Hey, <laughs> so much love to you. Mwah.